Over the last 10 years, it's been the fastest growing ecosystem in the US. Um, if you look back to 2003, New York was about 5% the size of Silicon Valley, whether measured by amount of venture capital invested or number of large exits. Last year, 2013, it was about 30% the size. So it's really had stunning growth. And it's, it's interesting, New York, one of the distinctive things about New York is that it is, represents many different industries, industries that New York dominates offline that are now becoming digitized. So media, advertising, marketing, financial services. There's a real broad diversity of, of companies that you're seeing start, successful startups come up in New York. That's a good question. That's one we think about a lot. Um, and I think I'd say a couple of things. One is there are a few spaces that just have a lot more innovation to go and are very big markets. I'd say financial services, probably the most significant one, uh, particularly with the advent of big data. At the end of the day, most financial services companies are data companies, whether they're in insurance, banking, investing, and don't make use of all the data that they could. So I would expect some very significant companies in the fintech space to come out of New York. And like many of the other industries where New York is particularly strong for startups, you really need deep fintech expertise if you're going to disrupt the fintech industry. You know, I think if you talk to most New Yorkers, there's a sense of uh, overwhelming promise, and it's difficult to go from the, along the growth ramp of the type that I mentioned and not be excited about the future of New York. I think if you look at the drivers of, of change in New York, uh, the digitization of the industries that New York dominates, really information-centric industries that it dominates, that will likely continue for some time to come. I think when you see commentary about unfulfilled promise, it's typically from journalists or uh, West Coast bloggers comparing New York to Silicon Valley, which is interesting, but I think not an apples to apples comparison. I think New York is a different kind of ecosystem. For the most part, I think it's more of an applied technology ecosystem with two killer assets. One, it's got world-class domain expertise in a number of industries that are being disrupted. And two, it's got one of the most robust creative classes in the world that give rise to unexpected startups in the areas like design, 3D printing, and others. So um, I think they're a little bit different. We need more engineers. If you put 10,000 uh, highly qualified engineers in the middle of Manhattan, they would be gone by sundown. I mean, the, the, there's just such a hunger for them. And I think it's not that d different from San Francisco, but unlike uh, Silicon Valley and San Francisco, unlike bo the Boston area, we don't have the sort of major technology research universities. We have some great universities that produce a good number of engineers, including Columbia and NYU but uh, we, we are short on engineers, and, and that's really been the biggest impediment to growth. 